there's the triple tank combo waiting for. And skill is going to be on the soldier. Soldiers coming, coming in, being the, being the standard nowadays instead of that protect the reaper comp that we used to see all the time. Which, due to the fact that you know it is now basically a triple tank, it's it, triple tank is not going under the meta for a while now, and it's really getting on my nerves. No. Especially with the yeah, fact it's, it's like, all right, cool, now you got a soldier, but now the soldier completely destroys the only thing that's able to stop a triple tank comp. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. It, I, I don't know and what the devs are thinking sometimes, but I, I know they, they've got the best at heart when it comes down to it. Yeah, well, sometimes I, I agree with switching things up a little, changing things around because thing, people get too comfortable. But it looks like we might be going with the Widow on Colored Pencils. Latios, I don't know if he's going to stick with that or just hire for them some early picks, then switch off because we got Genji for the dive. They have Widow who's going to have to stick back really, really far. Latios is going to be immediately switching off straight to the Soldier. Yeah, I think because didn't quite get that early pick, so it wasn't kind of lost some of that utility. Just gonna try to go some early poke here to see if they can test the water, see what's what. Looks like it's gonna be just a bit of a standoff around the statue here. Tom Tom's gonna try to recharge his shield. I don't think Tom Tom's gonna really be be able to get enough time to recharge his shield. And Winston's he's finally gonna be going in. Team. Winston's the real Mike's gonna go straight down though. Not being quite as aggressive as he should be. He Tom was kind Tom's of a shallow jump there, so. It, wasn't able to get into the supports, but TomTom Tom is going to be unhealable right now, but it looks like he's going to survive just that little bit longer. He was sort of trying to go oh, in for those hammers. was able to take out Latios. Chinkum was able to take out real Mike. Looks like they've got a couple very solid picks on the side of d train. I don't think they're going to have a very very good attack here with their down two players, even with that spawn. But it looks like they have Link just going to try to go in for some poke. Link almost has ultimate, so this is... <coughs> Very real possibility that Link might try to pull out an ultimate, just wipe out the healers, and then let his team come in for a nice sweep. And we could have a nano like blade this. going on here. The lockdown is gonna nano boost him. And he's in the back line, taking out Skill and Landers. That was a that's lot a of very, DPS. very good job by Link. Chikon's gonna be able to take him out at the tail end of that, but that's not gonna be nearly enough. They're gonna fall, and it's gonna be a nice, gonna be a very solid push. A very nice Clark. way to clean up the mistakes that they were doing during that first push. Thing to do. Honestly, even with some of those early picks that they, some of those early deaths, early eliminations on the side of colored pencils, they still very solid. Very few things wrong with what 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 they were doing. Because Link was just getting some of that early poke damage, building up that all very fast, and lockdown doing some great healing, Looks building like the all just as fast. You might be trying to do something cheeky here. It looks like it. In the side of D Train, they they got also have an Earth Shatter, but ooh. HM is going to hook in go Link down. and he's going to take him out, but Real Mike is going to be far too low to actually jump in. That was not a smart decision on his part. He needed health before and he it could looks do like something. TomTom's going to get br brought down because of another beautiful hook from the Roadhog. Roadhog, man. Roadhog's been doing a lot of work, just allowing just allowing the ability for uh, Soldier to get his ultimate popped up just by hooking somebody in and letting him do all the damage. Skill doing some very good work here, just getting some of that damage when they're in close, taking out those people just to make sure they're taken care of. As of right now, Skill's the only one that doesn't have an alt on the side of Beatrice. So this, this might be one of those very interesting things to see here. It looks like a nice ultimate's gonna go out, so it's going down. And it looks like Link is gonna try to get a little bit more. <laughs> looks like HM is just looks sitting like back there with two of his enemies, and he's gonna be taken down. That leaves no, but that leaves no tanks to yeah. support oh, and front and colored pencils. Looks like here comes the nano boost. Nano Nanovisor nano visor doing a lot of damage, being able to take out being able to take out a nice chunk of people. Although Tom Tom was definitely going to be able to take him out. It, it was, it was a new, no question to ask this thing. Tom Tom gets slept. And He's Link... just going to take a little nap. He needs a rest after that hard fight. They didn't win it, so he needs to just need some shut eye. Hey, he really needs to recoup. He just needs a little bit of disease, man. Everyone does. Naps are amazing. All right, looks like we're just gonna go for some early poke here. Real Mike is gonna just do some damage behind that shield of his. Very questionable shield use from Real Mike there, because with very nice. Reinhardt shield up. <laughs> very nice ultimate. No one's off. able to shield right now, and with that whole hog coming in, that's gonna be devastating. It is gonna be able to take out Very Tom nice off the Trinko. Man, that was a beautiful Zario. Being able to come into the side, bring everybody together. Take it out there. Follow up. Another beautiful hook. This is gonna be a very, this is gonna be a stalled push from Color Pencils here. They're not gonna be able to do anything with losing tank like that. Looks like uh, D-Train's doing a very good job. 
So yeah, they're able to regroup here, get a get a solid push, but I don't know if they're what they're gonna be able to do. They're at are at a slight alt disadvantage here with the with Cinnamon Bot and Sora both having ults for D Train. Let's see if they're able to get some picks, especially on Cinnamon Bot. If Link's Looks Link like can go around back and or real Mike jump into the back line. Hammer down. Yeah, we had a hammer down from Tom Tom, but didn't really get much out of it. Sora's so was up protecting him. Sora's so very low. Ooh, but that sound barrier is going to go and protect them all. And that's a very good sound barrier for Linders there. Able to keep him up just long enough to take out Real Mike and Tom Tom. Sora's. But a nano nano boosted sword, uh, Dragon Blade is not going to be nearly enough. With two tanks gone, they had all of the other players were able to focus on him immediately and take him out before he could do anything. It's like Tom is trying his best to survive, but oh. Nice hook from Latios, oh, though. Latios able to get skill. Their main damage dealer is now out of the running, so they're going to get a bit more distance out of this when they back, due to the D train having to back up just a little bit to regroup. Looks like a very nice that was out of nice Latios. Latios is very low, though. HMO is going to use his ultimate, probably going to take out the Ryan Shield. Ryan Shield goes down. Nothing's able to save them except for a drop of beat. A nice, beautiful Very nice Earth Shatter there, and unable to heal. Very, very good. They'll take out Tom Tom and Link, and then looks like or Ana, our Anna lockdown is going to be left there by itself with a very died. infuriated. Infuriated Reinhardt trying to go after his old friend. Ooh, and he's gonna be slept right in enemy line, behind enemy lines. But it's not gonna be enough. It was a bit more of a let me live sleep there, so just need Sora to take a little short nap. It's like Sora, shush, me and you were best buddies, man. No, we're not doing this. Come on. It looks like Lynx will be off the back. He's able to get a nice little bit of poke damage. But Looks like we might have another attack visor situation, nano visor situation from D Train. Very nice hook from Ladios right under that shield. It looks like nano visor is going to go HMO out. is going to hook in Tom Tom, but not able to get out of it. Link's going to go down to a nano visor. Reinhardt very nice earth shadow. So is able to do a Reinhardt headbutt, and his headbutt is just, and his head's just a little bit harder. Yeah, but it's because it's that helmet. He's got that moss-covered helmet. Doesn't do as much with that cold it's ice. Mo able to get a very nice pick on lockdown or on real Mike. And Chinko being able to get lockdown. Looks like Genji's gonna be on point. Genji's gonna try to use all of his might and power. Able to just take out skill. Possible. That sound barrier just coming out a little bit too late. Still not going down. But getting on the point, allowing his team to get up, get up towards it. Lockdown's gonna have to nano boost someone. Try to get some out of it. Tom Tom is not gonna have Kiva to stress all it out. Down. Oh, there it is. Looks like Latios is going to use his ultimate, and no one's able to stay on point Oof. long enough because that Zara ult is just keeping them just out of reach. Man, don't you love it when that happens? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely infuriating. That's, uh, that's a very doable distance for D-Train. Like looking at the point and seeing it, being able to touch it. You just want to caress it a little bit, but it's out of, just out of reach. Keeping you away from the thing you want most. All right, let's see here on the side of, on defense. Link is going to be on the May. Not a big surprise on this level, but most most players now, since they realize that May is a very common pick on this map, have realized, yo, we're not going through the middle. We're just going to go right up through. We're going to go up up and around because I don't want to deal with May right now. It's just not what I'm into. But it looks like we are going to stick with the triple comp, triple tank comp on the side of <clears throat> on the side of D train. With skill still going to be on that soldier, but skill skill was doing some great great work on soldier, not dealing out quite as much damage, but staying alive long enough to help take out get those important picks. School is definitely doing a lot of work with uh, with soldier. Very nice. He does have the soldier golden gun, so I I am expecting him to do well with soldier. You don't get a golden gun just for no reason, you know. Yeah, but you, that's what <laughs> we see people buy. By like the Bastion ones, it's like when are you oh, gonna use? Oh, it looks like skill is actually in top 500 for uh, for for season one. Is he? I did see that, but uh, but all right, that is very good. Looks like got real Mike. Real Mike is no, no longer going to be on the on the Winston here. Going to switch to the Reinhardt. Looks like we're going fairly standard on both sides, except we're not going to go with the Lucio for colored pencils. Tub is now going to be on the Zenyatta instead of the Lucio here. Let's see if that pays off for him. Alright, the map is getting started here. This so skill's just gonna try to pump out a bunch of damage. You know, Reinhardt Shield's always gonna be in the way. Here uh, comes that Maywall, nice but three Maywall. of them got over. Ooh, not so quite skill, good enough. There's that skill, slight uh, crack. HMO is gonna be able to take out Latios very, very early. 
HMO gonna try to go in HM HM0, sorry, it'd probably be HMO2. Try to go from the early pick. Real Mike is caught up by himself. He's surrounded both back and front. And H HMO is gonna be able to take out Tub and then Skill's gonna take out Real Mike. It's gonna be a very solid push for very solid push, and this, It looks like it's just gonna go all the way through. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to get back in time. They're just gonna have to hold back and try to hope that they can hold the bookstore with Skill and Chikon up there. Just holding them back, preventing them from getting on. They're not gonna be able to do anything. Latios is just sticking up by himself. Very Ladios questionable decision. Not have done that. That was a very, very bad move on his part. Overall, just sitting up there just to do a little bit more damage, possibly build up your ultimate. That is nowhere near worth you dying. Because that is gonna make it a lot easier for them to push up, even if you are gonna have enough time to be able to get there properly. Well, especially because that just allowed skill and cheek on to build up their ults. His skills is at 90%. He's gonna have his ult for this next battle. And with Cinnamon Bot coming up close behind with that. Very nice hook! Oh! oh. Being able to eliminate Tub, Tub swinging the Zenyatta, Zenyatta, man. That's one of the troopers that you do not want eliminated. Oh! Zenyatta. A very nice hook on Latios, although a very nice shield's gonna come out being able to save Latios. Real Mike's able to take out skills, a very, very short spin. Real Mike Real caught Mike's up. Gonna go down. Too far forward, and he's gonna be taken out by HMO. Looks like they're not not trying to contest, but here we go. Uh, Latio's going to get that nano boost, but the whole hog's going to push him away. Not going to doing anything. He's going to be able to take him out, but it looks like it's not it gonna be like quite enough. But now Tub is going to be on the Mercy. And here we got the Blizzard. But they got that Blizzard, but no one, no one was there to actually help, help stall it out just that few extra seconds. So it's going to go in favor of D-Train for match number one. D-Train wins, round one. All right, next map is Nepal, I believe, correct? <laughs> it is Nepal, yes. Very nice to see a King of the Hill map coming right out of the side of this. I'm so used to not seeing King of the Hill all the way until the end, you know? Mm, usually it's done as a tiebreaker, not as a potential winner. Here it is, and it's the last play of the game, too. Clearing that point, allowing him to come in there, and here comes that blizzard, but just not enough to keep him away. Doesn't stall that payload as much as you'd want it to. Epic. Things happen. Job there. well done. Although you got to give it the skill skills, they do a lot of damage and it's doing a lot of work during that. Yeah, he's doing a great job. All right. Let's bring us back to lobby and make this a little bit quicker. All right, hang on a second. How do I go back to lobby? I can't remember. Want me there to be lobby host next time? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So we're going to have, let's see if I can find it. Nepal is going to be our next map. Saw some very good stuff there, but I definitely saw a bit, a bit more work being done on the side of D-Train. Very, those very important key hooks from HMO doing a very good job bringing them in and skill able to finish them off. But I did say Linders do some, do some good work, especially killing Tub when that Zen was pulled in. Which yeah. is very, very good. It was, it, was, it was some very, very nice work from both teams when it really came down to it. Although, when it comes down to Nepal and other King of the Hill maps, it is definitely going to be able to see... It's definitely going to be based on more mechanical skill overall. Because there's going to be a lot of fights, there's going to be a lot of team fights, and if one team has an overall better mechanical skill, we'll be able to see that very easily when it comes down to this. So, that's Yes, that's I'm great. very excited to see it. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen here, what our comps are going to be. If we're going to see a lot of the same stuff we saw last time, we're going to see some triple tank, maybe more of a divey triple tank. I bet we're still going to see skill over there on the on the soldier. And I bet tub. Tub is most likely going to stick with the Zenyatta. You know, I just see a bit less of, bit less Ana, a bit more Zenyatta when it comes to King of the Hill, just due to the close quarters and trying to get some of those early picks of that Discord. So it looks like... Looks like both teams uh, are going to be ready, so... Yes, all right, so let's get it started. Nepal. The patch of my triplets. That's what it looks like over there. <laughs> Alright, Nepal. Select first map. Whoa. It looks like it is going to be shrine, correct? I think this yes. one's shrine. Well, yes, shrine I the one so. with the. Huh. 
All right, let's see what we got going on here. It looks like we are going to go triple triple tank comp for D-Train, and it looks like we're not going to go dive comp. We're actually going to stick with the exact same comp that they ended with ended with last time. We're going to go with the Reinhardt-Zarya uh, Roadhog combo. I mean, if it looks works, like there's no reason to, there's no, you know, if it works, there's no reason to fix it. Feel me? Very true. Very, very true. Although, since it is, you know, a completely different type of map, I... I don't, I don't know how, how it's gonna work. Yeah, I'm so used to seeing dive comps with the Winston, Winston Zarya Roadhog. If I see Trouble Tank or even the Diva now that she's a bit more front and center, Latios hasn't picked a hero yet, so I'm wondering what he's gonna go with. Cause we have the. There we go, Latios. Go gonna, gonna do a soldier. Think just a bit, a little bit indecisive there. So let's see what we're gonna have here, cause we do not have a. Solid shield on colored pencil inside of colored pencil like and a nice hook. And the link's and gonna, link go is gonna be taken out. A very nice early pick, taking out that damage dealer. Stops a push almost in his tracks immediately, especially when you have that flank, flank damage, and Genji. So I'm just waiting out those few seconds, they're gonna be able to take the point, and get be the first ones to control it. Looks like Sora's shield's gonna be very low. They might be able to push him just because the fact he wants that shield to recharge all the way. You never know. Although, Let's see, very... looks like we're gonna try to go around. It's like left of... They saw him going with the door, so they're gonna know exactly where they're coming from. So it's not quite as sneaky as I think they would like it. Looks like they're gonna the try back. to flank around the side the there. Skills. skills are gonna be able to do an amazing job on that. A hook goes out, a hook... Two hooks go out, one hook catch the fish. Although that fish was not able to be taken down so easily. <laughs> Looks like Tubbs gonna Still be on point to trying to contest as long as possible. Although Tubbs is gonna go down because I don't think he was quite aware of where the rest of his team was. And I have to say, Skill doing some work. He's already got his ult up. Latios is close behind, but Skill is he 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 was went into that fight with his ult. We realized he he didn't need it. And just saved it for hopefully this next push when the when Colored Pencil is gonna be able to build up some ults of their own. Looks like Link's gonna be trying to go flank and just build up ultimate and you know use it. Maybe they might have to save up for uh, Nano Blade. Who knows? Although they are, one side already has Nano Visor. D Train already has Nano Visor, which is a very scary thing, especially with skills. And especially without with the lack of a shield, a Reinhardt shield, or even a Winston bubble on the side of Color Pencils. That's they're not gonna be able to do much about it besides try to hide from it. Looks like there's gonna be a Nano Blade possibly going out here in a second. Although Attack Visor, Nano Visor is gonna go out. Nano Blade goes out. Oh, Nano Visor goes down. There's no more regular old Nano Soldier. Maybe he's able to do something. Who knows? Let's see, here, doing some good damage from on Tom Tom, but he's able to heal himself down. back up, take a breather. Here comes the whole up from Tom Tom. Able to get a couple nice kills out of there. He's going to be taken. T Gun's going to be able to take him out. That's going to be enough to allow them to take this point. It looks like another, another uh, Roadhog off from another hot. Mm. Another whole hog's yep. gonna go out. Yeah, HMO is gonna be able to push them off. Able to hook in real Mike and take him out. Looks like Chikon's gonna try to go for Latios, and he is gonna take him out. I real Mike. Tubbs is up top, just doing his best trying to keep them from not taking that point. Tubbs doing wonders for contesting. Looks like Tum Tum's pushed a little bit far forward. There, he's able to get healed up. He was in a very dangerous position there, and finally there comes the graviton from Chikon, but. It, it's more just here you go you can take that we're gonna move on it's like there's none of your people are here right now i'm fine with using this yeah like the very common na end of match nano that we see a lot i know i i know i partake in it occasionally if i don't need it looks like we're gonna stick with it although link is gonna switch to the tracer still gonna be a flanker because i have to admit wasn't doing a whole lot of work as Genji was able to finally build up that Dragon Blade, but didn't do a whole lot. He, Link was the one to go down almost immediately in almost every confrontation, either by skill or HMO. It just wasn't quite getting that same utility. Let's see if he's able to do anything else with a Tracer here. But now Real Mike is going to be on the Mercy here. It's not going to be on the on the tank this time. Let's see if that works out for him. But they are going to go in with a triple tank combo, and Tub is going to be on the Diva. Let's see if this works out. It would be very nice thing to see the fact that Diva and Winston both seem to be <laughs> Ooh, HMO's gonna go down. 
H HMO oh. tried to tried to do the suicide hook. Jumped in himself, tried to hook someone in, unable to do it. Totally missed the hook. That I watched that happen and that was good. But skill is able to take out Link. Skill I think has Link's number. Looks like the color pencils are just gonna try to take this point. And they might be able Thunder. to. Yep, and they do. Color pencils are able to take the point first. That was Looks a very like good job by Tara pushing down. back the team. Even with that Reinhardt shield up, they're able to push him back. HMO is gonna take out Tubbs Mac. Now it's gonna be Baby Diva on the moving off Baby the point. Tom gonna be up by himself. Looks like gonna... Lockdown might be going down. Lockdown goes down. Tub goes down. Sora goes down. Too late. Very nice picks for D Train. Very important ones. Taking out both of those tanks. Taking up both tanks and Lockdown. Ooh, and Real nice Mike is just gonna be a little bit too far forward up with Link. And that was not good positioning for, for Mercy there. Latios is gonna get it. Latios is gonna go down. Alright, well, Real Mike is now gonna switch on to Lucio here. Then we have HMO up top trying to get some of those endless uh, bottomless pit hooks there, but not able to get it. He's gonna miss, so he's just gonna go on to the point here. Another hook goes Lucio. out. No first get caught. Tubbs is just gonna be sitting on point in the back. Very Looks like Skill's gonna go for Link again. It will Looks take like him out. Tom Tom's Link's gonna try. Tom Tom's gonna get a, gonna get a hole in one on Sora. Maybe another hole able, in one. Able to hit Cheek on there. Tom Tom finally able to knock Cheek on off. Looks here's like the nano. Here's the visor from Skill here. Normal visor. And Skill looks like he might be going down here, or maybe not. He's just getting too much heal. Skill's Ooh. gonna survive. Very another good job day. by Cinnamon about there, just sitting there and pocket healing Skill. Able to keep him up just long enough, able to take, able to take out Tom Tom, even at. Like there was no feral monkey an, there. They're just gonna use a nano boost just to pump out enough damage. Real Mike is in a very precarious situation, almost able to get Sora off the map, but you know, just a little bit too too far. But I have to say, I think Sora actually saved Skill. Ooh, and Link is just gonna, <laughs> it's gonna Looks blink like right Sora off the edge. Sora might get booped off the edge of the map. Oh, Real Mike is definitely gonna be able to boop yeah. Sora right off the map. Substruct goes out. Tub like able to get skill there, but that was get very question able to be pushed off. Tub was able to get two kills though. Tub, uh, I believe I only saw. No, sorry, he did get two. Now I take that back. A very he was nice able to take out skill HMO, lenders. Very nice hook on Link. Link able to just immediately die. Real Mike's gonna kill. Chinko. <laughs> Another great hook from HMO taking out Real Mike. You can't go into a fight without your Lucio. That's. That is not a good position to be in for colored no, pencils. It's not. We got Lad Latios is now going to have the whole hog. Wonder if he's going to try to nope. But looks like HMO is just going to stick stick himself under there and hope hope that they come down so he's able to hook in those, some of those early picks. Looks like they're going to just go around. Tom Tom's going to gonna jump into the Tom back Tom's line, try to take out Cinnamon Spot. Tom Tom's going to get the hook. Tom Tom's going to get very low. A very nice. And here comes the feral monkey. Angry Monkey is yeah. Angry Monkey gonna get a hole in one? Nope, Angry Monkey. Oh, he's just, just gonna, gonna hit around angry. in the room a little bit, looks like. Looks Here we like got a Nano nice boosted Reinhardt. Nano boosted Reinhardt. Reinhardt has Very ultimate. Angry. Who knows what's gonna happen? Reinhardt's gonna ult. Reinhardt's gonna be able to bring down two people. <laughs> Skills and able real, to take out real Mike. Lockdown. Tub. Lockdown is gonna be Very <laughs> pinned mid hook. Looks like Tub's gonna be. by Tub here, but now it's gonna be Baby Diva. And Baby Diva, you're not gonna be able to take out a. Take out a Reinhardt there. What do you think you're doing? Not unless you're the only one there. Tom Tom's just taking all that damage. All of that damage. Let's see if we're gonna switch here. Yeah, it looks like they're looks like inside of color pencils they're gonna go with a double tank, and they're gonna move away from the triple tank. Gonna go with the Reaper. Link Looks is like gonna stick HMO's on the gonna Hanzo. Going to Genji. Genji, just so you guys know, HMO is a Genji main. A dirty, dirty Genji main. Sorry, personal <laughs> prejudice. I don't know. I see HMO still on the Roadhog here. Oh, he switched. All right. Yeah, I think he thought about it. He he, he might have considered it, but then went right back to the Roadhog. Cause Ro as Roadhog, he's been doing some work. Very yes. important picks. Very great. Very nice hooks. Very interesting way this moving up job. right here. It looks like Roadhog's gonna go down to the bottom. Never mind. I don't know what Roadhog's doing. I don't know what Jason Moon's doing. Looks like uh, over there on the side of Color Pencils, they're gonna be running a triple tank, just like, just like D-Train. Very nice charge. Although it looks like 
Tom, uh, it looks like Tom's gonna go down. Link doing some doing a pretty good job as Hanzo here, but Chikan isn't gonna come up right behind him, getting so, laser uh, to the back. About to do another work. Lockdown's gonna get shielded, and it doesn't matter. Skill's gonna be able to take down Lockdown. Like I said, this is one of the biggest issues when it comes down to running a Reaper, especially if you're trying to run the protection Reaper comp with this current meta. Soldier 76 is just able to do so much work and be able to take down your Reaper so quickly. Because the Reaper has yeah. to be at full blank range. Yeah, we see the problem. Pro oh, bit. Real Mike is going to be taken out. Real Mike's going to be taken out by Chinkan. Chinkan is, Chinkan Chinkan. is going to give him a nice mortar. He'll take him out. Looks like HMO is going to just try to sit below. Maybe try to get some hook. No, he's going to go up with his team. Looks like Sora and Shield's going to go, go down. So, I mean, Tom Shield's going to go down. A lot of switch ups going on for Color Pencil. Then Link is going to is gonna be off to the side to try to do something. He's going to be hooked in. Skills is going to take him out. Because they're only going with this, well, only the double tank comp on the colored pencils here with Link on the, on the Hanzo instead of a tank. So deviating a little bit try, from that. Oh, and Real Mike is hooked in. Is he? Oh, he is going to be taken out. Real Mike would probably should have stayed with his team there. HMO, great positioning to watch that opening, but. It looks like Sora has Mike ultimates. Probably should have stayed behind that. Sora's also tough, so they're shield. shooting for Rhino at ultimates. For both sides, well, D Train obviously has the advantage here when it comes down to ultimate usage. Very much so. Both have the nano on there, but Lockdown's, Lockdown's gonna be hooked gonna in by HMO, and he's gonna be taken oh. out. Sora's shield's not gonna be able to block Tubbs' ultimate. Looks like Sora's gonna go down. Tubbs is just gonna be sitting there taking all the damage being healed up through everything. Tubbs is gonna be all the way in the back. Looks like skills two Zarya ultimates are gonna go out. Who knows what's gonna go on? Tubbs, looks like Tubbs is just gonna have to die. Tubbs is gonna go down. Looks like all they have right now is Link on Widow. No one can yeah, moving away from that Hanzo, trying to get those picks there. Notice he does have <laughs> he does have the gold weapon for two snipers. It's a very interesting choice. I don't, I don't see that as often. Now he's on the point by himself. Looks like Lockdown to might try to get on point. Lockdown's going to go on the point. Lockdown doesn't have ultimates, so there's not very much he's able to do. But let's see. Oh, never mind. The nano boost is going to go out. A nice ultimate goes out from Sora. He's being, he's being kept up, but the sound barrier on the side of D-Train is able to keep him up long enough, able to take him out before he can do any work. Looks like Sora's going to be nano boosted. Sora's going to be able to take down Tom Tom. He's going to take down Tom Tom and Tub, and then Skills is going to come and clean up on Latios. So that's going to be a victory for D-Train. 2-0 victory. Very good job on them. Very good. Let's see what we got for a play of the game. And Tom Tom as the Mad Monkey. There's the Mad Monkey. I think, yeah, I One, think he pushed a couple people off here. He two. tried to get Chikon on the first go and missed, and tried and tried again. There finally go. got him. I've got you in my Very soul. nice. A double hole in one. Oh, come on, you gotta vote for skills. Come on, skills give it to work. skills. Bring, it, bring him up. Bring him to an epic. There we go. Legendary. Legendary.